Let's leave to one side potential law changes. Let's leave to one side Bill Beaumont's parting shot at the bomb squad before leaving his job. Let's leave aside potential private equity deals and all of the other stuff going on off the pitch. And let's focus on what should be an absolutely belting weekend of rugby in the United Rugby Championship. Round five is coming up. Here is a preview of those fixtures, how I think they're going to go, what the big stories of the weekend are. And please tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And do you know what really helps? Because it is just me here on this channel. I'm Tim and this is Egg Chasers. Dropping a thumbs up on the video. It doesn't cost you anything. Really helps with the algorithm and all that. So yeah, get stuck in. Uh, in no, well, I was going to say in no particular order, but no, there is a particular order. I'm mentioning this fixture first because I am so excited about this one. The Sharks against Glasgow, the champions against the team absolutely stacked with World Cup winners. And they're back for the Sharks. I'll get onto that. The game is kicking off 2.45pm on Saturday. That's UK and Ireland time, 3.45pm in South Africa. And the Sharks have named their team two days early. I think probably to get the word out that Evan and the rest are back and the locals of Durban should come out and support their Sharks, their World Cup winning Sharks. Oxen Che is back, Bongi and Banambi is back, Vincent Cock is back, Evan Etzebeth, shirts one to four, double World Cup winners. Sia Khaleesi is back in the back row as well. You've got World Cup winner Trevor Neocane on the bench. Hendrickser, Hendrickser are nine and ten with Mapimpi, Esther Hayes and Amon Fassi in the back line. Grant Williams on the bench is absolutely stacked. And I cannot wait for this game. It's tasty. Thing is, Glasgow will go there with confidence. They are URC champions. They won that at a hostile Loftus Versfeld. That will give them confidence that they can go to South Africa and get back-to-back -back victories in the Republic. And I wouldn't put it past them. The history of this fixture shows in the three games they've played against each other in the first three years of the competition, whoever has played at home has won the game. I think it'll probably go that way. But... If you had to sort of describe this fixture, it's cohesion against raw talent. Glasgow, a very settled team, play week in, week out, club and country. The Sharks, they're without their box, then they all come back in en masse. Will, that, will they be able to get the cohesion as well as having what is clearly all of the natural talent? I think if they lose this one, John Plumtree starting to come under some pressure. I think they will probably edge it. I think the Sharks will probably get their four points. Glasgow might get a bonus point out of this one. Really looking forward to that game. Uh, and, and then later on on Saturday, 5pm kickoff UK and Ireland time, 6pm in South Africa, Cape Town, and it's Stormers against Munster, a, a replay of the 2023 final where Munster went in and got a smash and grab. Another team that will be very confident and they've got a lot of pedigree going away to South Africa and doing well. And they're taking their big guns to, to town as well. 32 Munstermen have travelled, including Ty Byrne and Jack Crowley and Craig Casey. The big names are there. The Stormers are licking their wounds after being humbled against Edinburgh. What was it, 38-7? And, yeah, didn't show up well. Referee didn't help them. But then again, what, what hurt them more is the fact that they've got big name players like Damian Willemser, who did not look like Damian Willemser. Then again, the pack were not as gnarly and doing their job as much as they should have done. And that's one area where Munster always kind of front up. So Ben Jason Dixon needs to be big. Which players have they got coming back? Sasha Feinberg and Gomazulu is out injured. Will Evan Ruiz be back? Will Franz Malerba be back? They need them. Those are the kind of characters that the Stormers need. And if they have them back in the lineup, I could see the Stormers winning this one. If, if those players aren't back, I think this is going to be a Munster away victory. I'd say four points for Munster and maybe a bonus point for Stormers. Um, that'd be my prediction, albeit I haven't seen the teams yet. Uh, moving on, and the, the best performing South African team so far have been the Lions. And one thing Stormers need to do is actually be a bit more disciplined in the way that they play. Play a little bit more possession, a little bit more territory, look after the ball a, a, a little bit more. And whilst the Lions have been playing some amazing attacking rugby, that's actually one thing that gets overlooked that they've done really, really well. They've They've played smart as well as really attacking when the moment is on. When they need to, they will tighten up the game a bit. They will play a little bit more territory and possession and kick intelligently. And they did that to, to get that win in the end um, last weekend against Dragons. I think they'll have enough to beat Zebre. Um, and, and I think this could be the full five points, should be the full five points for Lions. Uh, although Zebre, yes, they look poor when they got pumped by the Stormers. And... They um, 
Yeah, who else did they get pumped by at the weekend? I forget who they played at the weekend. I brain farted that one out. But the point is they beat Munster early in the season. So they've got a good performance in them. Will they bring it again? Was that was that it looks more and more like the Munster match was the anomaly. We'll find out a bit more in this home match for Zebra at the weekend. And can Lions get another win on the road? We're gonna find out soon. Uh this one looks Good. Connacht against Leinster. Do you know what? I, I now really want to go to Galway. I've been and watched a bunch of games at Ravenhill. I've been to the RDS and the Aviva a number of times to watch Leinster. I've been to Toman Park several times and seen Munster. Never been to Galway. And Connacht have got a handy team. And they'll fancy that they could pull off an upset. It's going to be interesting to see Leinster's selection because the difference this year with Leinster is they've been going full bore for the most part with their selections, picking up points early in the season so that they're not in the same situation they were last year where they don't have home advantage in the playoffs. And obviously the selection in the knockout stages in the past for this for, in the URC has cost them like that game against Munster. You get a feeling with Leinster now, with the pain that they've gone through the last few years in the URC and in Europe, they're not going to make that mistake. And there's, you've got to remember, there's even more added motivation for these players. They will be desperate to earn an Ireland jersey for the upcoming end-of-year tests. And they'll be desperate to do that because it's a Lions year. I mean, yes, they want to get the Ireland shirt anyway, but it's a British and Irish Lions year. And spots are up for grabs and to be fought for. And, that, and, and, and Leinster players will all be hoping and expecting to be involved in that tour, but they've got to go out and deliver for Leinster first and then for Ireland. So that's all of those things in the melting pot. And it feels like Leinster have just pulled their socks up, rolling their sleeves up and saying, right, we're on this year. And if they do that and they uh, have a bit of luck with a couple of injuries that they've got at the minute, then they're going to be hard to stop. And I don't expect Connacht to be able to stop them if Leinster pick anything like a strong team, which I suspect they probably will do. So I'll go for an away win, five points to zero points. Uh, Friday night and the weekend gets underway. Scarlet's against the Bulls. And, um, well, yeah, the, we've, I've got, we've seen the teams for this and the Bulls have, have shown a few changes, but they've, they've got Wilco Lowe, even if they don't have Elric Lowe. I'm wondering if they don't have Elric Lowe because in, uh, in Llanethley, Ken Owens around those parts is known as the Sheriff. And maybe, you know, you can't have two sheriffs in the same town. Maybe the, maybe the Bulls just went, do you know what, Elric, just, just stand back. Let Ken Owens have this one. I know he's not playing, but <laughs> you, you take my point. I'll tell you who they do have. Uh, Welsh qualified Cameron Hanacom. <laughs> I bet you the commentators, the Welsh commentators mentioned that one. Um, it's kind of just a, a tease for Wales, isn't it? Here's what you could have won. And he looks an absolute baller last week, didn't he? So Cam Hanacom, I expect to have a big impact. This is going to be an away win. Uh, the home team has always won this fixture. So two years ago, the last time the Bulls went there, the Scarlets pulled off a victory, but their fortunes have gone down since then. And whilst they look handy, I don't expect the Scarlets to win this one. Probably uh, either, of, uh, yeah, so I'd say zero points for Scarlets and four possibly, uh, actually, uh, let's say five, the full, the full five for the Bulls. Either one of those results would be a result. Uh, and the other one we've got on Friday night is Ulster against Ospreys. It's just kind of got a kind of classic feel. Ospreys were always, the, for a long time, the strongest Welsh team. And Ulster have always been there or thereabouts in the mix, despite being in the shadow of Leinster and Munster at times. Berg Stuart McCloskey is back for Ulster. Eight changes to their 15. Ian Henderson and Nick Timoney are out. Uh, Hendo with a concussion. I think Timoney might be being rested. But... Harry Sheridan, Cormac is a Chukwu, they're both back. So you've got a couple of youngsters coming in for and, and a couple of uh, their old stagers going out. Problem is, Ospreys have got loads of injuries. Like, I think I saw Toby Booth say 40% of their squad is unavailable and they're resting some of their Welsh stars like Jack Morgan. So I can only see a home win, five points to zero points for Ulster for that one. Edinburgh versus Cardiff, this is 5.15pm. UK and Ireland time, 6.15pm South African time on Saturday. So this is on at the same time as the Stormers match. You're going to have to flick back and forth or catch up with the highlights later. Um, a couple of blitzes in the first and second half against Stormers gave Edinburgh a really strong victory. They've been looking like they're poor this season. 
They looked a lot better against Stormers and I think that momentum will carry on in another home game. Cardiff though are tough and this will be tricky, but I think they're going to make it two from two. Uh, they lost to Scarlets last week and I think it's going to be two defeats from two for Cardiff as well. I'll go a home win, four points. So I'd say Cardiff are tough enough to deny Edinburgh the bonus point, zero points for Cardiff. And Dragons against Benetton. This is on Saturday evening. Benetton, a strange one. They got pumped by Glasgow, got pumped by Leinster, drew with Scarlets, and then they woke up and absolutely demolished Sharks last week. So what type of Benetton are we going to see standing up now? We've just had the Italian squad named and most of their squad is at Benetton. They're a class outfit. And Rodney Parade, a difficult place to go. I was going to say, I hope, no, I'm going to go an away win. One point to four points. It'll be a close one, but a tight away win for Benetton. And uh, they'll be, yeah, they're going to try and carry some momentum. So what did I say? Going through that, I've gone um, away win for Bulls, home win for Ulster, away win for Lions, narrow home win for Sharks. Wait and see Glasgow's team on that one. Away win for Munster, home win for Edinburgh, away win for Leinster, away win for Benetton. So five out of eight away wins this week, which are prized. They are they're tough to come by, away wins, so I might be completely wrong. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Look forward to the rugby this weekend, and I will be popping up uh, over the weekend with reaction to the games as they happen. I wasn't able to do that as the games were happening at full time last weekend, due to um, being away. Uh, but I'll be home and not up to very much, except watching rugby and here on the channel. So hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. I'll see you on the next one.